the fuck is this guy doing in the sci lab? Is he the engineer or the person I actually made to go fucking do it? He just squats. That's what you need to do for what you, what you want to do sci. Alright, everyone, welcome back. I just realized that I have 600 supplies and, like, I got that thing where everything's, like, really cheap here. So, plus 10 to aim and ability to crit while taking Overwatch and reaction shots? Yes. Uh, explosives can crit? Yes. Hunter's Instinct, flanked enemies deal plus 3 damage, yes. Deadshot, plus 10 to critically hit enemies, yes. Oh man. Bonuses are approved, sure. Why not? Plus 3 mobility for concealment. And if a squad might dies or fucking gets critically wounded, you gain random tactical bonuses. Seems completely useless, but fine, sure, why not. Fucking might as well, it's 50% of the money. Uh, I forgot to even do that before we even start. I don't even think there's anything else I really need to do here. Well, maybe this thing. Maybe I, no, I can't upgrade this because I've already known this. It's a sad story. I may need more power. I, mean, I could I could make more power here, but... Maximum power consumption reached. I mean, I could just destroy this later. It's fucking 80 supplies, though. I don't know. I, I, I usually do my base management beforehand, uh, after, but... I'll decide. Depends upon Illyrium stuff, but here we go. Landed UFO, guys. Launch mission. You guys ready for the wall hacks? All right. So both rockets. Um, Zed is pretty much the same. I have not used that skull jet. I've tried it once and it didn't work. I really want to use that. Uh, still venom rounds. Uh, fucking still same loadouts. I think. Oh yeah. I did give. You you already know I gave this person the uh, laser sight. But I gave myself, actually, the, I gave myself a better laser sight, advanced scope. So I just want my snipers to be really good at aiming. And for this, in my particular case here, I want to be able to, um, like, have a high clip size, obviously, because of kill zone. Kill zone takes up so much fucking ammo. Uh, and th for this guy, I gave Katarin the scope. And I gave him a hair trigger, although now I think I should give him the auto loader, just because he doesn't have a lot of ammo in his sniper. So free reloads may actually be pretty good, but ah, fuck the hair trigger. I'm gonna give him the fucking auto loader, even though I just wasted the hair trigger. So he gets free reloads with his sniper now, which is pretty good. Still, he's still got the meme beacon and all that. I think nobody else has really changed here, so let's go. So we actually managed to bring our standard team back with us because everyone just got healed because I waited a little bit. But it's good patience. Patience is a virtue in XCOM, guys. Yeah. You wouldn't really know that because I keep rushing into situations with skulljacks and things like that, but you know. Forces managed to disable a UFO that's set down in this region. We've got an opportunity here to grab valuable tech from it before the aliens have a chance to recover. Eliminate any hostile resistance in the area and secure the site to retrieve the assets. Now, I may get like that Illyrium from this mission, I don't know. I I'm kind of hoping we do. Oh, we didn't even set down, we just kind of like fucking did shit. Menace one five UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area. Neutralize all hostiles. We're in a concealed position. I think I saw someone here. Like it just for a second, it showed me somebody. Like like this wasn't a visual glitch, was it? Okay, so there's absolutely no high ground we can go to right now. Where is stealth? Okay, stealth can go right here. Go go go. And guess what? I'm right. It, it was a bug. It fucking shouldn't have showed me this. Alright. South is just on the very border of this. Where's myself? Uh, I want to be in the back here. Look at us. Katarn needs to be somewhat in the front, but not really. God, these are some horrible fucking positions. Hopefully they just kind of hang out here. Move, move, move. Can can come to the tree. We're just on the very outskirts of where we want to be. Oh, we see another turret. Oh, there's a lot of fucking turrets, guys. Here's the thing. If I kill zone this, um, I can't take a shot with my sniper. And I think the other problem I just realized is that this tree is in the way of literally everything. Um... A tree is like literally Hitler right now. Will do. 
Like, there's actually not a whole lot of good positions we be in, but this is like the best option I have here. Alright, so are these guys gonna move around? Oh, there's fucking guys over there too. Alright. Oh, we gotta open up with something, so... I think, I think if I wait like one more turn, we'll get a fucking chance to hit bonus, so... Because my sniper is basically every time, like there's no rush right now. I mean, they're not going anywhere, so what we're going to do is we're going to definitely open up with a grenade here after I uh, kill zone this. Because now, if we look at our chance to hit, uh, steady hands, there you go. So let's go start with kill zone. Uh, we're going to just kill zone kind of here. And who are we going to open up with? We're going to open up, I think, with Canned. What kind of grenade does he have? He has the incendiary. And I think these are affected by it. Although acid grenades would help against those turrets, but we're going to go with this. Fire in the hole! Alright, let's see what happens here. Oh, he's got Salvo, that's right. Oh yeah, I love that thing. He's going to clone himself. Because <laughs> everything's on fire. I prefer using Killzone to take it up here. God, he's got like the scope, he's got fucking steady hands. And what what am I rewarded with? Misses. And also this glitchy ass fucking camera thing. Alright, we poisoned the, the sky guy. Alright, we want to kind of deal with the camera guy in the front though. Yeah, I know, the charts are back online. I kind of want to kill the turret though. And yeah, we're going to actually shoot the turret, I think. Because we're going to take off some of his armor. Kind of nice, alright. Yeah, no kidding. All right, what do we have now? Katarn can take a free shot. Lightning hands. Against the turret, sure. One damage, come the fuck on, Katarn. Armor still holding. We needed you, man. Depend upon you. How's this guy in cover? I guess he just is. All right. Um. Now here's the thing with Zen, is he gets it like a double overwatch. So, and we're getting flanked here too. So I'm wondering what to do here. Stealth is still in stealth, so I don't see a point of moving her anywhere. So we got like actually a couple of fucking people here. So there's a guy in the back there. I wouldn't mind taking him out too. Actually, we can do like this. One sec. Maybe I can get like the turret and this, all this crap. Yeah, I think we can do that. This is for you. All for me? Why, thank you. Pat's such a thoughtful guy. Alright, that worked out pretty well. We may have destroyed a weapon, but I think it worked. Target's I think it's better this way. Okay, so he's got salvo, which means he can either move or he can shoot. And we're gonna probably lean towards moving. Katarn will have to move, definitely, though. Uh, I don't know if I should use the meme beacon in this case. There's still a turret in the back there. Oh, dude, we got an 85% chance on this guy. Now, here's the question. Can I fire my pistol? No, I think it... I think this, I think this thing is, like... Firing a... So, it's... it. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to fire the sniper if I use my pistol. So let's kill this guy. Alright, that, that handled that. Impressed yet? We always were. Alright, Pat has a suppression. Which is good. Though if Zen fucks us up, then we got suppression. Zen did not fuck this up. X ray neutralized. We're we're all in like kind of shit cover, but it's fine. 
All right, let's uh, Overwatch. Overwatch. I'm on it. It's really nice being able to like fire grenades and then do something. Oh wait, we got a shot here. Wait, why the fuck could I shoot now? That thing's in Overwatch though. I thought. Or no. Holy shit! What the fuck kind of damage did you take there? Menace one five. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's some kind of distress beacon. You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. Does he have some kind of debuff on him? Why does it look like he smells? All right, let's do some dead eye here. Ah, uh, it still worked out pretty well. Uh, all right. Let's see. Karen can probably finish it off. He's got it. He's got like the fucking sticky lines coming out of him. Alright, let's get some healing on to camp. And we can now move up. Uh, it's, you know, it's really good having like one combat hacker slash medic, so like I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that. Let's see if I can make this. Oh, I, I, I was pressing alt and not control. That's okay. On the enemy. Alright, so some guys over here. And there's some guys over there. Uh, how many? We got six turns for the distress beacon. Which is not actually that great, because now we have six turns to get into there. I think. I think we might make. We might make stealth rush in there. And turn off the distress beacon, but that's only if things get really, really dire here. Affirmative. Covering now. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of fucking options here. I can handle that. I'm on it. All right, Pat will, I guess, go over here. Absolutely. I want to, just want to give him a slightly better positioning. Moving to Overwatch. All right. We're gonna have to reload with my turn here. Uh, we're gonna have to wait one more turn. Even though I don't like doing that. Oh. It's I just need I need the sniper at full ammo. Free reload probably would have helped out there. All right, let's see what we got. We got cereal. So if we load up cereal. What's our chance of uh, doing some nice kills? We got one turn until kill zone. I don't know about this. I mean, this is this is the opportunity we have for for cereal. This is like the one opportunity we have. So let's let's do this because it's like we're not going to use it in any other case uh, right now. Yeah, I fucking didn't even hit. I didn't even kill. It's a dodge. I think I think we're gonna make stealth run in there. To be honest, that's nice Archon. Katarn has shots on those guys, but I'd rather kill that guy. I don't like this Archon. Uh, Do we get a free shot yet? No, we don't. Oh, pistoling. Sixty percent. Sniper's much better right now. Alright. We're probably... Well, we may break stealth with our stealther, but... I'm still considering my options here. Ah, let's fucking shoot this guy. Another five damage. Air trigger, free action. Wow. Okay. Uh, that was cool. Even though it was like a fucking completely bad chance to do anything of the sort. I don't. I just don't like fifty percent chance to hit. 
I, I also don't like the Viper even more, so I think we're gonna actually lob an incendiary grenade over here. I guess that'll be okay. That works for me. Alright, that guy's gone, this guy is still up, but that should be okay. Dan could probably get him. Yeah, Zan did get him. Okay. Zan's really fucking doing well now. Alright, so... Apparently, if I open doors slowly, like this... This apparently will not break concealment. It's only when I, like, smash my ass through the door. This is funny, actually. Bit of a risk, but we're going in. Okay, we I can do it. I wouldn't mind getting a closer look at their flight computer. Ours could probably use some updates. That would be kind of nice. I love updates. All right, we're gonna just stay here in concealment. We're not. We're not in concealment at all. All right, so that's an interesting thing that the shotgunner can just kind of fucking stealth her way through the ship here. Menace one five. That's the distress beacon. Move in and disable it before the aliens get a bead on the UFO. Maybe we can hack it. Even though she's not really good at hacking, it's Zan can't exactly get up here that fast. We could have tried, but wow, we can't literally do any of this actually. Can I just cancel the hack? Let's maybe, let's actually try and bring now that she's up there and we're actually pretty safe. Let's try and bring Zan up. Where's Zan? On your order. We got a couple turns to do it. Yeah, okay, we just got these guys. This might be a, the time for the beam beacon, guys. But we have dead eye actually, so maybe not. Why, how can we only see these two assholes? Fuck this. All right, kill zone. And Canned will. So Katarn will use his meme beacon over here. What should we do? Do we get there a free action? No, we don't. Okay, meme beacon go. And can will go. Uh, this is yeah. Okay, once again, turrets are not cover. I don't know how this large metal object doesn't count as cover, but hey, whatever. I'm not gonna complain that much. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Moving to Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. Not a problem. I'm gonna move him back here. Coming out. I wonder what this deep cover thing is. I I, I I forgot what it was. At least we have a sniper. Oh, come the fuck on. All the chance to hit in the world. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, focus. Apparently we suck. Dude, he just fucking bitch slapped like Katarn's meme beacon. I think I'm running out of ammo for this guy, anyways. Right, that guy's poisoned. Oh, dude, we can totally go and fucking skulljack this guy. Okay, we're doing a skulljack. I just decided this. Oh, dude, we get more shots. Oh, come on. I love the fact they just waste their turns on this. It's delicious to me. You know, if I get that third upgrade thing for my weapon, I'm definitely gonna fucking use it on Skull Mine. Here we go. Skull jacket, skull mine. 
This is 70%. Who else can I use it on him? 70. Yeah, let's use it on this guy. The fuck is going on? Why why is this always so buggy? Holy shit. Alright, small intel. Uh or we can get information to a facility. This is so bad. I don't know, fine, let's do this one. Alright, we got minor cache of intel. Piece of cake. Oh, you just died. Okay. I'm good with that. Expended, extended magazine and advanced stock. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Did he just like use up his entire turn for that? I think he did. We still have a chance to kill them all, so it's all, it's all good. Alright, we got one fucking shot, and it's just on this guy, so... Might as well just do a regular shot on him and just let everyone else deal with the rest of them. There is a fucking tree blocking me, it's fucking awful. Please Guys, you don't know my pain. Dude, okay, we're gonna pistol the shit out of him. I just decided this. Guitarin's gonna show us his fucking worth. And then we fire pistol, cause that doesn't end his turn. Does this raise his defenses or something? Or what? I guess it does. This Guitarin giving a fuck. You get like three shots with a pistol. It's almost one sniper shot though. That's the thing with doing this. Okay, we reload. And now we shoot. Well, we have an option to suppress him too. So, I don't know, maybe we should launch an ass like a grenade and then fucking try to finish him. That's, that's what I'm thinking. He's pretty much guaranteed to die, then. Because Salvo makes it so we don't end our turn right away. Think, well, we can just grenade him again and then salvo. Or no, no, no can't reload it during his turn, so just suppress him. Roger that. Suppressing hostiles. And we're gonna just yeah, wait yeah. one more turn. So basically, if Zam can't make it in here to do the robot, the remote hack thing, then we're gonna just fucking do it on our own. Okay, so this guy's definitely gonna do something. Like he's not gonna just stand there, is he? He's got like a huge aim penalty and everything. And yeah, he, that's exactly what he did. All right. Now we need to go to turn off the distress beacon. We may not actually have line of sight on this, which I think is what we need. Which is going to be real sad, but it's, it's fine. Yeah, no, we can't do it, so it's going to be up to Stealth to do it. Even though Stealth can't really get any fucking bonuses out of it, so... Because I was like, oh, dude, fucking... Mission lead? Oh, I can, I can totally go for that. That's all good though. It's deactivated now. I'm in. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Scanning. Here we need to reload everyone. Rock and roll. Let's oh yeah. Let's Let's go. Go. All right, I guess stealth is gonna just. Clear the ship or something? I don't know what the fuck to do with stealth. No, no, no. Don't go there. Uh, I don't know where to bring stealth now. I'll go if there. You say so. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, okay, there they are. Wow, just like one square. Alright, that's kind of upsetting. How's this fucking... How's this... What? Whatever, okay, we're gonna go here then. I'm trusting you here. It's kind of dumb, because I fucking... That was, that was flanked down there. Alright, well, now we definitely have to run Little everybody damage. up here to help out. 10-4. I'm on it. 
uh, Overwatch, because she can take two Overwatch shots. Copy that. I guess I should have assumed they were in the UFO still, but what to say about assuming position. makes an ass out of you and me. That's actually a terrible phrase. I hope I never say it again. And uh, there we go. We got we got a crit off in fucking Overwatch, and now now we don't get to see the fucking we get to see through the window, guys. Because the, the thing decided not to show us the outside of the UFO. Oh my god, that's so fucking good. Dude, Zen earned that promotion. Who's got a... Who's got... A, dude, don't, n there's no way he's doing another fucking Overwatch shot. How many Overwatch shots do you have? That's fucking insane. He fucking fired three times in Overwatch. I thought it would just be like once more. Oh my god, he's fucking just killing them all Overwatch. Target neutralized. Why? Why is Zan the hero we need but not the one we deserve? Oh, yeah, you take out the real threat, go. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, let's get stealth a kill just because stealth doesn't get kills very often. Like, Zed literally ran out of ammo! That's the only reason he couldn't do anything else! What the fuck? Wow, 100% chance to crit? Look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. Talon round, superior laser sight, flanking target, weapon crit. And then fucking, yeah. God damn, man. Uh, I got it, right? Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Zed is the fucking Overwatch King. I just decided this now. Holy shit. That was that was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. I don't know what the fucking odds of that were, but God damn. Like, I I, I have to understand how that works. Is it like like, what was the fucking probability of that? I need to look at his skill, because I'm pretty sure... So I have it on covering fire, so... Like, because I'm pretty sure Overwatch just counts one time. I I'm pretty sure of this. Like, it's supposed to just act at once, but I have a skill which... You have a 50% chance to fire again. And it just kept fucking chaining and hitting. And it only counts if it hits. Not a single casualty reported, Commander. I hope all of our deployments go this well. Alright, let's have a look at this. So, oh shit, wow, we got this stuff. Gremlin fires to, flies to each squad member, healing or reviving them as needed. Or, the gremlin will go and emit a substantial discharge, potentially damaging and stunning all the units. Oh, we're gonna do restoration. If I could actually click it. I can't. The fuck? Why can't I click this? Is there some reason why it's being racist and like not letting me click it? Like when I hover over it, it's like giving me something else. What the fuck? Yeah, I can click this one. I can't click this one. Can I like. Okay, so I think I can press, like, A, and then I'll do it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that was weird, because, like, I actually can't select it. The game didn't want me to do it for some reason, but when I pressed A on it, it, it did it. Because that's, like, when you go, like, WASD, that's, like, left, I assume. I just was trying shit out. So, let's see. Uh, with e every successful Overwatch shot, there's a 50% chance that another shot will be taken. There are no limits to how many Overwatch shots can be taken with the Guardian ability outside of ammunition and visible targets. So, there was a 50% chance, but that kept diminishing, and I got every single proc. That's insane. And then Covering Fire was uh, Overwatch Rise Command any action. But Guardian is basically, yeah, it's like... That's, that's weird. Like, he doesn't get unlimited Overwatch shots, does he? 
because it doesn't seem to end because covering fire it i don't think covering fire procced at all i think it was all guardian i got like guardian like 10 times and that was it that's fucking like the best thing ever holy shit like i just rolled r and jesus there all right here we go if you do not attack this turn you hunker down automatically or if you score a kill during your turn the next attack during uh, against you during uh, the enemy turn will miss. I think I want deep cover. For those couple of times where she gets revealed and she didn't actually attack, so that seems kind of nice. And also, I think Overwatch also counts, because if you didn't attack, if, if I have her in Overwatch, she still gets deep cover. Oh yeah, yeah, it is actually, because now, now, now I think about it. Can's been doing deep cover this entire time. Because uh, that was his random thing that he got. And so every time I put him in Overwatch, he'd, he'd also conquer down, which is really good. Okay, so that was fucking amazing. God, I forgot completely what I wanted to do here. I think I... Uh, wait, did we get Illyrium? Or whatever the fuck it's called? Oh yeah, we could totally get the Illyrium Power Conduit. Power Relay upgraded. The upgrades. Oh yeah, see? So we already have it, but it, it like it does a piss poor job in telling me if like I don't have supplies for it or if I already have it. So another one for the UI team guys. Okay, I think resistance comms is gonna have to be upgraded though. Resistance communications facility upgraded. Alright, who do we want to get into here? Maybe we actually want to get Maybe we want this. Uh, it's 100 supplies and 2 power for like no real fucking purpose. What can we make here right now for facilities? The shadow. Uh, we can make a defense matrix. Fuck yeah, let's make a defense matrix. We pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Shut up, I don't care. Alright, actually, we don't need the person on this thing. Nobody's fucking healing that I care about, I think. And I want to speed this guy up. And I think we're good, then, on that regard. Although, we don't have anyone to do this. Maybe we'll go buy a fucking engineer somewhere. Let's go to the bridge. There's a cave here. Alien alloys and Illyrium crystals. Did I finish my other thing? Yeah, I got the other thing. Oh, that's right, I think I... I saved it before I did that. What else do we got here? We got Scorched Earth. How many fucking alien alloy... What was it? Illyrium crystals we have? Oh, it's 21 now. That was a really good UFO. That gave me a lot of fucking Illyrium. Because I'm like, I totally need that. Oh shit, we totally need to get it for the weapons now. I totally forgot. I went to spend money on all that crap if I had remembered that. Avenger plotting new course. Maybe, maybe we'll stop by the fucking black market and sell a bunch of shit. Because I want some plasma shit. But we'll, we'll, we'll start with this though. Uh, oh. This guy has soul fire. Guaranteed psionic damage to organic enemy. Ignores cover and armor. Neat. Depending on who you ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own psi operatives can tap into that same power. Uh, okay, so he's got... So operatives can still participate in all combat missions while training, but automatically resume training if they... Remain from coming un uninjured. Okay. Ah, so I can train him in one of these. So, this operative is surrounded by an aura that immediately extinguishes or blocks any mental uh, impairments for themselves and any nearby squad mates. That could be okay. Generate an, an explosive field of psionic energy that immediately damages every, every, everything within. Organic enemies have a chance to suffer insanity. Nice. Or project a beam of terrible power that damages every target it passes through. This. Attack and penetrate multiple enemies and obstacles. I think Void Rift would be good. So, uh, can I actually see him? Like, what, what's his fucking... Oh, here you go. So, he's learned Soul Fire. Three turn cooldown. The damage done by Soul Fire ability can be increased by upgrading the uh, Psy Operative Psy Amp. Which, we have that now. And robotic and mechanical enemies are immune, so then there's this stuff. Okay. He seems really sad. Aw. His weapon upgrade. I oh, fuck this shit. Oh, dude, I'm gonna give him the will thing. 
totally gonna give him this. Alright, I don't know what to fucking name him, though. I'll have to think of something. Could be, it could be Cal could turn number two, just because, like, it's fucking force powers, man. Did not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Alright, we got this plasma lance. Yeah! Sniper rifles. And we can now complete sh shield bearer instantly. Physically. The Advent Shield Bearers are quite similar to the bulk of Advent's forces, in that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most of their unique qualities come from a difference in equipment and armor. Components I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. Alright, what can we make now? These Shield Bearers are not all that dissimilar from their various Advent peers. Their armor is perhaps the most distinctive feature differentiating them. All right, we can do experimental armor. <clears throat> New vest designs. Okay. Uh, let's see. What what do we want to do now? Do we want to do the meme cannon? I think we want to do the meme cannon. Totally want to do the meme cannon. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. I I, I want to finish this this fucking. Did we already finish this? Yeah. Okay. Got like absolutely no alloys out of this. I need supplies so bad. Go to black Avenger market. Plotting new course. I I need to like make all those weapons that we like that we keep seeing. So, and I'm willing to sacrifice a lot for that. We kind of just went through the hologram there. All right, sell it, sell inventory. They really want Advent mech re mechs and also the corpses. And I don't know about this stuff. Fuck, man. I think I'm just selling some, the data pad. Because that's like basically worth intel, right? So. I don't know. I can't get rid of any of this. We don't need intel. We need money. Well, we have another contact opened up, so. Uh, I guess we can go make contact somewhere else then. I'm kind of sad now. What, can I actually afford anything at all? New orders, Commander? Yes. Make me some rail guns. Uh, build items. Well, we can make the Psyamp. This doesn't actually cost. Oh no, it costs 70 supplies. Never mind. 300 supplies? Fuck! What do I look like I'm made out of? I got a Fuck. report of some creaking down by the aft lift yesterday. I just hope it's not metal fatigue. Yeah, I hope so too. Oh, fucking. Guess we're gonna go to India. We need kind of. We need power, so. Uh, we'll go to fucking yeah. We'll go to India. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. So fucking sad right now. Probably gonna need more engineers soon. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Supply drop is like ten days. No, I don't want to do more fucking targets. I want rail guns piece of shit. Okay, we can counter the radii thing and get supplies out of it. Or we can do more in armor. Okay. It's either a choice between the scientist and this guy. I don't, I don't really care about the fucking detection radii, so I might as well counter the hidden event. Because all the other stuff I just don't care about. Alright, fine. Heading Let's go over here. For the Mexican regional tract. Let's go to Mexico. Mexico sounds pretty good. Well, I guess that's good for next time, guys. So remember, we will be watching Zen hit every fucking Overwatch shot in the universe. Bye.